Yeah, breaker one on. Can we get a 20 on that? Bop, bop. behind the paddle and the dash. So it fell out years ago and the mother-in-law was like, this thing just fell out from behind the dash. She's like, it doesn't seem to be affecting anything, but what it does is it makes uh, the clutch pedals hydraulic and it makes the clutch pedal ride nice and high, which is now is a lot of clutch travel for me that I'm not used to. Oh, I got an out signal too, damn it. Um, I was having clutch issues and I got looking into it. I sprayed the sliders and stuff on top of the transmission and it was better. And then when I got to work, the clutch pedal was weird and it started to almost stick all the way to the floor. And I'm like, oh man, maybe I should. I had that parts car, so I had the spring from that and a whole nother pedal set. And I'm like, oh, maybe I should put that in. So, and it was a huge ordeal to get that one little spring in. But anyways, keep Tina alive. It's melting, it's warm, it's, well, I don't even know what it is. I don't have a temperature gauge in here either. But anyways, we gotta go on a bit of a mission. We're going east of uh, Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. Where did you say that was by? Awesomely that something's already loaded in the yard. It came from Richie Bros, which is another kick in the pants. I was like, oh, I would have loved to go to Richie's and uh, load that up. Smeaton, Saskatchewan. I'll have to put it on the map because I didn't know where that was. If you're from Saskatchewan, you might know where it is if you're in the northern area. So we'll be in the north, obviously. Prince Albert is north of Winnipeg but the drive to Winnipeg is a hell of a lot longer than where I'm going going for it my long clutch travel oh, <laughs> just burning clutch it's got such a long travel because before without the spring it was just like closer to the floor and it didn't come all the way up. Shipping like I'm a five year old there. No, nope, I'm coming, you better stop. You have a stoplight. I don't. So anyways, we'll go in. It's hooked up to uh, 310. As far as I know, we're unhooking it and I'm taking my own truck because he didn't say anything about that. I don't imagine it's just a C-cam with the light plant on the gooseneck or on the scissor neck so it shouldn't be too heavy or anything and uh, yeah we'll get going we got to unload it tomorrow sometime during business hours so we should be able to truck up there now it's two o'clock so it's a bit of a drive it's like seven and a half as google says we get up there sleepy sleep and then uh, unload in the morning and truck her on back home. See you guys in a bit. There she be. We'll unhook that. Some Ford action in the house. Turbo D's. Yeah, that's right. About how much Alberta likes them. Look at all this. Yeah. Mud. Here's some form of commons in here. I will show you the code of the secret lair. No point in washing this time of year. But I got it. I used to be that guy. Used to be. Big keyword. Let's 
It's gonna be muddy in here for months. Springtime is not friendly in this yard because it doesn't really, it does actually dry. Like that's why we start turning around when we park the other way we always back in because it's kind of dry, but we get a lot of rain. When we get a lot of rain <sighs> in the springtime, rinse it all down. Mm. Got yourself here a skidded sea can. Oh, take that off. I hate wheel button. Whoa, that's kind of sketch. Huh. Yeah, they don't give you a whole lot of options here. You could have tried from the axle, but even that, you'd have to go around the springs. There's no electric, there's no electric brakes. So. Um, grabs the wrong key. says it's eight degrees outside. button top. Still don't like that, but there's, you don't really have any options here. Start wrecking his springs and stuff. I'm hoping they got a loader to take this off with some decent forks because it's backwards. Plus they got a ramp. Then I could scissor flat back up to the ramp. But that's only if they got a low ramp, so 
I guess we'll see it clean off the dirt. Check the hubs, check the tires. Lights are all good. I didn't check the trailer weight. <laughs> I'm good on the truck when I pinned on to it. Oh yeah, we're light. <laughs> Great. Great. Probably got in trouble for black dirt in the yard, but should have been left at Richie Bros. Oh yeah, 50 on the truck. See that? We're good. Minus this volcano up here on my forehead. Find out which route I'm gonna take and we'll get going. All right, I know I said I thought lights were good. They were. I looked at it. And then I was like, hey, this one's not lit up. And I found a bag of gangrene and then I pulled it out. First I went looking for a light. We didn't even have a light. I was like, what the fuck? How do we not have a light? Going out quick, oh. Don't use the pointy side of the cramps because that pierces pierces the insulation. Uh-oh, that might have been too. Oh, I pierced it. Oh well. I gotta go. Go back. Go back, plane. Gotta boil us the heat shrink, huh? A little aggressive on the heat there, not gonna lie. I butchered that, but it's gonna have to do. Oh, I turned off all the left. It's already an hour wasted here. that oh well it'll last the trip it's not how I usually like to do things I was gonna use the metal piece and then the sheet to cover it up nothing like sticking lights back in petrified winter plastic Working, working. I took this light out and tried it in there. I was like, ah, because I went to go. I looked for one. I couldn't find one. We got the uh, two prong style, but not the blade style ones. Mine, mine. And I think they got one out on the truck too. I'll fix that later. Thanks, fam. Let's take it off and put the highway twist in her. Don't get ran over by cars. 
is off 310, so it's not mine. Like we got more than enough down for us on this thing with that, and that, that, and that. Let's check out the rest of the load. Oh yeah, I was like, oh, I gotta take all these pins out. Did the other side, I didn't do this side. Some of them have, oh, there's a big trunk coming. For a second there, I thought it was Hudson's. It looked dark and mysterious. Oh, there's a mouse right there. Or not a mouse. A shawl, a shrew, look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them. I wonder where he's going, church? It's a little late. Okay, that's there, that's there. Don't even try to get in my truck. That little door is open, but it's got, got no latch. Stay where you are. Nobody moves and I don't shoot. What is going on? And I just stopped here. We're at North Battlefords. Man, I haven't got fuel for three days. We're in North Battlefords. And 340 liters. My fuel gauge. Gotta look into that after it gets close to half and it starts. It's going back and forth, it's jumping all over the place, and it's the red lights coming on and off, on and off. And it's just like lighting me up over here. I have no receipt. Printer error 72. I uh, thought I would just stop, stop and top her up anyways. Put the, uh, oh, that's my flashlight. Oh, sometimes this thing trips me out. I stopped and there's like, when it's idled up. It's done it to me before, but then it just stops all of a sudden. See it? It'd be coming out the stacks a little bit too. On and off, on and off. It was like, what the fuck is going on? Is this thing toast? Did it to me a couple times this winter too, and it was just right cold. A little snow squall when we left uh, Lloyd Minister for a little bit. 
Oh, we're clean. Not that bad. I was starting to get worried. I was like, oh, there's a snow squall coming. There's a squall on the horizon. But no. Whoa, slick Angie. So it was kind of tripped me out a little bit. I was like, whoa, where am I? Which way am I supposed to go? I'm lost. <laughs> and by then it's too late to look on the map. Turning. But yeah, we're uh, we're in North Battleford's. I used to stay at that hotel on and off. Stayed at that one over there too a little bit. Can I get out that way and go straight? I think I can. Oh my. Is that a green sign? Yeah, it looks green. I've always gone back up to the bypass, you know. I guess I could have made another left and this guy would have been like, what's this guy doing? Oh, he's getting DPF. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> he's like, yeah, well, my truck isn't steaming out of every orifice it's got. Fair enough. No need to make fun of my truck. He's driving a Western Star. Just kidding. You guys know I like Western Stars too. I don't like the new ones. I like the old ones. I stopped at about 2000 and I don't even know. I could smell the McDonald's over there while I was getting. It's like, oh, that, that old familiar smell. All right, so up there beyond flashing lights, next set of lights we hang a left and when we cruise the whole northern side, it's go north. Oh, it's the 5-0. It's the fuzz. One time, Rossers. And it's pretty flat. There's a couple drop-offs and coolies. Well, there's like one. And I don't even know if I'll see that if I'm going that far or not. Or we used to bring a. Uh, you need to stop flashing over here, and this is flashing over here. When I worked at Road Train the first time I came out here, we brought out a propane bullet, and I took that all the way to. Uh, that would be the northern northern edge of Hudson Bay, which that was Thompson or Tompkins, Manitoba. I can't remember, but I know I went this way, and then there was a little bit of a. So we're on Highway 40, going uh, north of North Brattleford's, and uh, 
the first time I ever been out here, I was like, oh man, this is this is pretty awesome. I'm like, I've never been out here. I'm like, okay, it's pretty flat, Saskatchewan like, because everybody, I've always heard that northern Saskatchewan is nice, and it does have a lot of nice areas. Actually, once you get out in uh, northern Saskatchewan, northern Manitoba, it's like lake country. So there's like little ponds and lakes all over the place, and there's rock. Actually, all the rocks in my yard. I picked up one time when I was at Hudson's, when it, well, at Road Train and Hudson's, but I did bring home a lot more f when I worked at uh, Hudson's, just all over like the side of the road where they blasted and there was a bunch of rocks. I was like, stop and pick up a bunch of rocks. But anyways, they're on like the Northern Shield, which is pretty cool. Uh, Flin Flon is a different town because it's, it's like on top of all this like rock and then all the, the septic and water mains are above ground in like wooden boxes and stuff. So it's pretty cool to see. And I, I did honestly make a wrong turn and drove through town. I didn't see a no trucking route sign, but and we went to the trout mine there after I came back from Hudson Bay to pick up another propane bullet for a backhaul and that was pretty cool. I'll insert a couple pictures here, I have a little bit of video.
think that might have been the first time I actually took, uh, it's like going to a mine. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be so awesome. Oh, look, we're at Britney Spears with uh, two E's instead of an A. Um, but yeah, it was a wicked trip. And then uh, that was a snowstorm. And then at Hudson's, I took uh, two little cats up here. And it was just uh, Thompson. I'm gonna have to look that up and I'll have to put it in text if it's Thompson or Tompkins, Manitoba. It was like two little D4 or D3s. Uh, could have been a John Deere as well, but whatever. I had two little guys and uh, we took them out here. And it was uh, probably the last two hours, it was, it was like a heavy snowstorm. I've never not been this way and not been in a snowstorm. Let's just say that. I don't know. It says a uh, GPS that will arrive there at like almost 1 a.m. It's, uh, it says 9.23, but we had a time change, so it's an hour and a half to, uh, it's 10.23 right now. We're not that far, we're like probably 35 minutes outside of North Battleford, and all of a sudden it was like a wall, boom! Snow. This is what it was like a little bit outside of um, Wainwright. But then it just disappeared, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be a good trip. <laughs> the road gets worse and the weather is getting worse. Keep left to stay on Saskatchewan 3 East. In 500 meters, turn left onto Saskatchewan 55 East. Signs for Nibbley. Turn left onto Saskatchewan 55 East. Signs for Nibbley. Beautiful, Smeaton, Saskatchewan. We're in the north, far north. Or actually, well, we're probably further east and north of Prince Albert, which is kind of like, I don't want to go anywhere that way. This way over here, this is cool up here. Can't remember what it, when you turn on here, it's, it's like 230K or another 300 something to Flynn Flon, which is pretty cool. I like that area. Uh, we're just bordering the cool stuff. We're in the part of Saskatchewan that actually has trees. There's a couple little knolls. And then the whole one side of me I was like, well, trees in Saskatchewan. I know you guys got trees. It's just rare, right? I'm usually like central Saskatchewan, south Saskatchewan. It's all pretty much the same there, right? It's just crops. 
and you guys like take every single tree. You're like, nope, we don't want any trees. Whatever blows from Alberta, we want it to skip right past us and go right into Manitoba and get caught in their trees. They're like, nope, we don't want any garbage bag trees. Just kidding. We always made that joke and it drop something in Alberta when it's windy. We're like, oh, it's already in Saskatchewan. But anyways, that's enough. It's uh, bedtime. I'm not going to rush to get up early in the morning. What is it? It's, uh, it's 12.55. I didn't set my clock yet. See? It's later than I thought because my clock's right. My truck one's slow. Alright, bedtime. Oh, it's park facing east. Me up. <laughs> like the boys are in the restaurant, they're waiting for you. What do you want to eat? They'll already up. I'm like, oh, I'm bacon and eggs, any color toast. And I'm like, I don't care, I'm easy. Shit, there was no parking anywhere in this joint last night. Better fire up the pig. Yeah, that. If that needle does not move.
Okay, well that was pretty easy. Everything was still cold, <laughs> no winch. Even though I greased the whiz out of that thing with winter grease, that's pretty much like Vaseline. That is, I'm glad I didn't have to pull it all the way to the back of the trailer. <coughs> uh, we got a triple T Texas bed over here, Western Star. I was like pulled up and I was like, whoa, full fender? I'm like, wait a minute. That's a Texas bed, and then he's like, yeah, that came from Claris Home, and I was like, that would explain why it's that yellow is Claris Home, is Triple T Tax. Which they have a Peterbilt, which I modeled my uh, road train truck in after a lot.
Defense power, we can't do that job. Uma ameaça foi detectada. Uma ameaça foi detectada. 